What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing to you guys not only a Trick Room team, but a Snorlax Trick Room team for ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Snorlax, everybody loves this Pokemon. Let's be honest, nobody hates Snorlax. And if you do hate Snorlax, please leave this video. You are not allowed to be here. But Snorlax over here is rocking Gluttony as its ability with the Kusat Berry as its item. It's got Body Slam, it's got Rock Slide, it's got Belly Drum and Protect. To pair up with Snorlax, we're rocking out with Ndidi, obviously to use Follow Me, set up Belly Drum, kind of get rolling from there, or even set up a Trick Room, Snorlax doesn't need Belly Drum to really be good, but that's pretty much the base combo for this squad. Another insane combo for today's team going to be Lilgant and Torkoal, you guys definitely seen this on the ranked ladder before, super super strong as Lilgant can just outspeed the competition in the sun with Torkoal, and then just use After You and Torkoal can just erupt to victory pretty much. Pretty simple. Our final two Pokemon going to be for Rigorath and Scyther. Now, for Rigorath going to be another Trick Room user, but on top of that, it is rocking Expanded Force to do really big damage inside that Psychic Surge next to that Ndidi. It also has Terror Blast with Fighting Terror type, and it has Wish for HP recovery. Like I mentioned, we got Scyther. This one's got Technician with the Evo Light, Dual Wing Beat, Close Combat, U Turn, and Protect. You'll definitely be surprised at how much damage this Pokemon actually does. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Snorlax Trick Room team. Okay, pretty dope team we're going up against in match number one. Love seeing off-meta Pokemon such as Electros and even Noivern. They also have Arachnid, they got Armors, they got Hisuian Zoroark. Illusion always gets me, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. And then last but not least, they have Mamoswine, who I really like. So from here, honestly, it kind of seems like they're not rocking out with too many double hitting moves, so I could honestly just go into like Ndidi and Snorlax. That wouldn't be terrible. Maybe pop Trick Room. Maybe go into a Belly Drum. I feel like that has got to be my play. So I'm going to end up going into both of them. Maybe just following me away and pretty much getting after it that way. Hopefully they don't lead Armouge because that could be a big time problem. What's your Terror type, Snorlax? Rock. You got Rock to pair up with Rock Slide. Not bad. I love Snorlax's little like. It's a uh, Pokemon cry. It's just like so subtle. Ready? Oh, it's not making it. Oh, there it is. Man, <laughs> it just goes like man. <laughs> I love it. But I'm gonna go Indeedee. I am gonna go Snorlax. I'm gonna bring Torkoal by itself, and I think maybe just bringing in like Scyther could be pretty good for us. Scyther, what's your speed? Your speed's 172. We want Scyther. Or do we just go for Riggies? Riggies with expanded force. Look at pretty nice fighting Terra. We're gonna rip up with some Friggies. Let's go for Riggies. Special attacking for Riggies. How often do you see that? How often do you see that? Come on now. Come on now. So we got a full blown Trick Room squad up here. Ready to rock out. We maybe maybe I should have brought Scyther. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Because again, if I could just set a belly drum or even just pop a few expanding forces or eruptions, this Trick Room team really gonna be thriving out here. But they're gonna end up leading Araquanid and Mammoth Swine. Now when I look at this, I see Y guard right away, which is definitely a little scary, but something else I see is no double hitting moves. So I could just follow me away here and set up a belly drum. So that's what we're going to do. Belly drum, follow me. And we'll rip up with that because I also have the Kuset Berry. And if you do not know what that does, when your Pokemon is below one fourth HP, it will actually trigger and give its move priority. But with Gluttony over here, we can actually make that pro oh you got earthquake i don't like that you can actually make that priority go on half hp which is nice but leech life gonna thrive out here it is going to pick up a ko onto ndd but i do get to set up belly jump i don't get off trick room but it's all good it's all good he's gonna take some damage to rocky helmet and this kusap berry is gonna actually really help us probably set up trick room to be honest with you i mean i got frigraph to set up trick room as well which is really good so that was a good call for us so i get this belly jump set up they're probably sitting here like okay we outspeed it what's it doing they don't know I got that Kusat Berry ready to roll. So I'm going to drop a Kusat Berry. Nice little, maybe Rock Terra Rock Slide? Do I send that? I could go Rock Terra Rock Slide. And I, I actually like that. So I'm going to go Rock Terra Rock Slide. And I'm just going to pop a Trick Room. That's going to be my play. Kusat Berry. They're not ready for it. I get to go first. And I'm getting to Terrasilize. Alright. So. This should KO the Rack when it, hopefully it's landing. I'm hoping it can KO Mamoswide, but Mamoswide is really bulky, which is why I went to Terrasilize as well, just to get that Terra boost. But first and foremost, we gotta, we gotta beat Accuracy, right? We can't miss this Rock Slide, and we don't, which is huge. So, Arachnid definitely gone. Mamoswine? 
one HP. Are you sashed? Are you sashed? You're sashed. That's all good, though. As long as I get off this trick room. As long as I get off this trick room, I really like that play. I do not mind that play at all. He's going to go for an EQ. That's fine. That's fine. Snorlax dies out here. Snorlax did what it had to do. Because now I popped this trick room. I still got Psychic Train. I can expand in force. I can erupt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. I like that combo a lot. The Kusat Berry, really, that, that made it. That made this combo work. Because if we didn't have that berry, Snorlax just dies out. It really does. It just dies out. But now I get to go into Torkoal. Trick Room's all set up. Expanded Force Eruption. Electros is going to fly out here. Electros is rather slow, but you're not slower than Torkoal. And maybe not this for graph. I honestly haven't checked this for graph speed, so I'm going to do so right now. Let's see what you got. 62. Yeah. No. You are not slower than these guys. 22. That's a slow Torkoal. That's like one of the slowest Pokemon ever. And now I can just erupt. Um, they still have Terra, but I mean, Expanded Force Eruption. What? what what are you going to do about this? What are you going to do about this? Let's be honest here. You're not even surviving the the eruption. Let alone eruption and expanding force. Like, I don't think any Pokemon's really surviving this. Unless you're like Incineroar. Incineroar is the only Pokemon that can survive this because it's not affected by expanding force and it resists eruption. Actually, maybe Armor Rouge. Maybe Armor Rouge. You could be flash fired. You could be flash fired. We're going to have to test the waters here. So I'm going to do that. Um, might as well give this a try with Expanded Force. Honestly, we might lose this match. He goes for Wide Guard. All right. That's fine with me. Might have to switch the Weather Ball. I wonder if you're Flash Fired. That's my, that's my real question. I don't think you're Flash Fired. I really don't. So I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to Span exp uh, Eruption here. Actually, you might Wide Guard again. You might want to waste out some turns. I'm just going to go Weather Ball here. And Terra Blast, because honestly, Terra Blast can do some decent damage here. Yeah, you go for Wide Guard again. He's trying to waste out some turns. Good call on my end, just to, just to attack right here. We're going to see if he's Flash Fired. And he's not. All right. So Weather Ball should still do respectable damage, which it does have damage. Oh, my God. Torque on the Sun is just so strong. And then out comes Terra Blast, which brings you down to pretty much one. Probably about three, to be honest. And from here, I can just click Weather Ball again. I can click Terra Blast, and that's going to be Game Set Match. Thanks for playing. Nice little match from our Snorlax, Kusat Berry coming in clutch. And then we just set up Trick Room and officially ended this match. So GG's, we're sitting 1-0. Let's see if we can go back to back here. Hopping into our second match. We're going up against a pretty meta squad right here. You got Roboom, you got Sneasler. Chances are that's Grassy Seed Sneasler. They got King Gambit. They got Electabuzz for support and follow me. Then last but not least, they got Prima Arena and Dragapult. Dragapult, super fast, super strong. How should I play up against this one? I definitely want to pop off Trick Room here. And maybe going into Indeedee could be a great lead for us because this Indeedee should be slower than Rollaboom. So if they want to lead... Ooh, actually, it's kind of close. If they want to lead Rollaboom and kind of like take terrain. But my more important thing is I want to pop Trick Room. So I could go into both of these two. Just go follow me, Trick Room. Or I could just go after you, Torkoal kind of combo. That's not bad. That is not bad. But they could also go into a Fake Out user. You got Ghost. And you have to have Protect, don't you? Yeah, you know what? We're going to go Torkoal Logan. I just think it's a simple call for us. And then we'll just go Indeedee and Snorlax. I could go Scyther here and not even bring Snorlax here. Because we really don't need speed when it comes to this. Or we really don't need Trick Room when it comes to this. I'm cool with it. I actually like that a lot more. Oh, I'm looking at it. I do like that. Like, Dual Wing Beat does really good damage. Especially Technician Boost. Like, you'll be surprised at how much damage this, uh, this Technician Scyther can do. It does great damage. It really does. But I like the lead here of Torkoal and Logan. Because if they do lead a fake out user. Which chances are I can see them going Rollaboom Sneasler. We can just like Ghost Tower up. But no they don't. Instead we're sitting here. We could just go Eruption. I could go Fire Terror here as well. After you Fire Terror Eruption. Might have to be my play. I know that he resists this. But still the damage output is absurd. I could honestly just put this thing to sleep. And I am gonna do that. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh Dragon Pulse Sleep. I might even swap it. I'm just gonna put Dragon Pulse Sleep instead of going for air for you. We're just gonna slump it for a turn and then maybe go for air for you because I mean I like the buzz. What kind of damage are you really doing here? Bolt switching, maybe a thunderbolt. Probably a follow me, but you might even swap him here. I mean follow me would obviously just be a waste of a turn. Like when you look at this, you you expect after you 
eruption, right? Unless follow me can kind of... Oh, yeah, follow me could just pull a boy to sleep out. I wonder what he's going to do here. I'm curious to see. I am very curious to see how this one plays out. I just don't see you using follow me. Follow me could pull a sleep powder, but I just don't see that happening, right? I don't see a follow me popping here. He does pop a follow me. Wow. And you got vital spirit, don't you? That really sucks. What are you going for? You turn pivoting? Okay, I got focus ash, which is good. And anyway, we're soaking that, no problem. But wow. Kind of kind of odd to see that. I don't care, that works. Whoever comes in here is taking this eruption straight to the chin. Straight to the chin. Let's see. Who are they, who, who are they popping in with? They probably don't even know who they want to go into. <laughs> They're like, oh my god. Eruption's flying out here. Let's see. Pre-Marina, that's solid. That's, a, that's definitely a good call. But Eruption's still going to do a huge chunk of damage. We're going to end up sending it. Eruption. Oh my lord. Damage galore. Damage galore. And do I go into another one here? I think I'm out speeding. I might as well pop an Eruption. Or, or I'm not out speeding. I could go for air for you, but I could just go for a Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade's going to KO anybody. I'm just going to Leaf Blade this Primarina down. Let's go for another follow me. That's fine. So follow me comes out here. Leaf Blade going to launch. Going to take out Electabuzz. No problem. And we're kind of hoping we get Logan for another turn. Like, Logan just chilling here. Attacking is actually really good rather than going for air for you. He goes for a Hyper Voice and actually does a good chunk of damage onto that. That Torkoal. A bit more than I wanted it to do. Especially in the sunlight. Does nice damage. Eruption's not going to KO anymore, but still should still do nice damage. You might have to switch to Weather Ball. It almost KOs. But I know my Logan's out speeding, so whoever they go into could just put the sleep, to be honest with you. Which would probably be our best call. Just to put it night-night sleep time. It's going to be Sneasler. Now, Sneasler can fake out. Um, hmm. Sneasler can fake out. We're just going to protect you and... I can get off a sleep powder. That'd be nice. I'd rather just put Sneasler to sleep. Let's put Sneasler to sleep. Let's put Sneasler to sleep. So Primarina's going to protect. It's solid. That's solid. If we can put the Sneasler to sleep. Oh my lord. Let's see what he's got going here. Let's see what he's got going for. So protect for protect. Sneasler, you're going first. Actually, Logan's out speeding. Thank you, Chlorophyll, and we're saying night, night to Sneasler. So Sneasler slumped, which is big. Now I can leaf blade down this Primarina. And I can just throw Weather Ball into the Sneasler slot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So Weather Ball into that slot. We'll go for Leaf Blade over here. They could swap in the Dragapult, but we'll still do really decent damage. And we're just gonna get rid of Primarina. So Primarina gone. Sneasler, not guaranteed to be asleep this turn. It could wake up. That'll be a one-turn sleep. And cool, it's asleep this turn. That's big. That was worth the sleep powder then. So Weather Ball launches. We might have one turn left in the sun, which we might want to use for sleep powder. I'm not sure, depending on how much damage this does or if you're sashed and you're sashed. So Unburned's going to fly. And honestly, I think Sneasler might outspeed this Logan. It's going to be close. So there's that. I wish I had a first turn priority move. I really do wish we had that. And Dragapult's going to come out here. Now, Dragapult is looking scary here. We have one turn left in Sun. I, I honestly might just put this Pokemon to sleep and just go for an Eruption. And yeah, I feel like... Actually, I could just go after you, Eruption. Caesar might be faster. That's the problem. That's the problem here. That's, that's the problem that we're sitting at. And honestly, let's see your speed real quick. What's your speed there, Logan? 172. You might not. I think you outspeed. I think just an after you eruption is probably the play. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think you outspeed. I really do. So we're going to see a terror type pop out from Dragapult. So the Pult's going to terrasize most likely into Dragon Terror for Dragon Darts. Yes. And again, if I could just after you get off this eruption and do a little bit of damage to Dragapult, but more importantly, take out the Sneasler. We'll be thriving. And Sneasler actually outspeeds us. So we lucked out there getting that sleep turn. After he's going to fly here. We're going to turn this match into probably a 2v1 up against Dragapult. Because Dragapult's probably going to pick up a double KO with Dragon Darts here. But Eruption flies. Bye-bye, Sneasler. 
Respectable damage onto Dragapult. And Logan Torkoal did more than enough work. More than enough work. Dragon Dart's going to launch. So we know he's we know he's choice banned here. We know he's choice banned. So I think my whole thought process in this next turn is both my Pokemon should be able to eat up a Dragon Darts. Actually, Torkoal's eating up a Dragon Darts here. And I can just pop a Trick Room and pretty much call game, right? I went into the wrong Pokemon. I just went into the wrong Pokemon. I just went into the wrong Pokemon. I just went into the wrong Pokemon. I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect. We're going to play it simple. We're just going to let Torkoal die. We're just going to let Torkoal die. Alright, let's let Torkoal die. I went into the wrong Pokemon. I should. I had to go into Indeedee there. And just pop a Trick Room. But whatever. We're just going to sacrifice Torkoal now. So we're going to sacrifice Torkoal. We know he's using Dragon Darts. And I need one to go into the Scyther slot. One to go into Indeedee. They both soak. Trick Room pops. We outspeed. And then we just pretty much win the game, right? And then we pretty much win the game, right? Yeah, it makes it makes it makes sense. It makes sense. So we go for dual wing beat here. We'll chip up a little bit of damage. Play it simple. And again, both these Pokemon should not die out to Dragon Darts. And I know I'm gonna say that and like a crit's gonna happen. I'll be very upset. So we'll pop that trick room. We will go for the dual wing beat here. Dual wing beat honestly might just KO it. And we both should be able to soak this. Let's see. Yeah. About half. And about half. Wow, pretty even on that half board there. But Dual Wing Beat's gonna fly, and I told you guys, Scyther does big damage. Dual Wing Beat's just gonna KO. We didn't even need Trick Room. It was more of a precautionary thing. But hey, we're sitting 2 0. We're dominating with this squad. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen, going up against Blaziken here in match number three. I absolutely love Blaziken. Such a dope Pokemon. I tend to use it on the channel every here and there, but it's always fun going up against it because. It's just so strong. I think it's going to absolutely rip up into me and ruin our perfect record, but I'd be okay with that because it's Blaziken. They also got Salamence. They got T-Tar, Baxcalibur, Porygon 2, and Amuga. So honestly, a very dope team. Definitely a very dope team. But something I do notice is they're kind of fast. We can just set up Trick Room. I mean, unless they bring in P2 or Amoongus, that could get very annoying. But I might just go into my Belly Drum Stormax again with Follow Me and DD, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. So, Snorlax, Indeedee, like that lead right there. I am going to go for a graph, kind of like how we did in match number one. And then last but not least, do we go Scyther or do we go Torkoal? I think we got to go Torkoal here. Just because they have Amoongus. And they also have T-Tar, so like if we want weather control, we can just take it ourselves. But I think the whole plan is to set up another belly drum and look to just dominate this match. But yeah, so far so good with this team. First match, Snorlax did all the work. Got after it, and then second match, we went to the other side of the team with Torkoal and Lilligant, and that did phenomenal. Really, really well, just doing monstrous amounts of damage with Eruption, put Pokemon to sleep, Leaf Blades, all that good stuff. But he's going to end up intimidating me, which is okay, because Belly Jump kind of fixed that problem. Um, hmm. What's called scary? Titar scary. I honestly might just protect Snorlax's turn and set up a... Trick Room. Actually, I can always set up Trick Room next turn. This is a follow me belly drum play. This is a follow me belly drum play all day. All day. It's just gonna end up protecting here too. Which is great news. Great news. You could be going for a knockoff to try to KO my DD. That is an option. And yeah, it is. I didn't want to use my Terra, and that's fine. Because I get off Belly Drum and then I can just protect. I could terrestrialize into fighting here while they target down this uh this Snorlax because I know they want to do damage to Snorlax right now I'm half HP I honestly have first turn priority with the uh with the Kusat Berry and I could I could send an attack here I could just rock slide away and set up Trick Room at the same time but I gotta go into Free Graph here I'd rather get off Trick Room I really need Trick Room Uh, I'm going to also Terrasilize here, just in case the, uh... Just in case they want to target down the for a graph with a knockoff. I think they go after, uh... I think they definitely go after... Strolax, but it's just like a precautionary kind of terror. Because we need Trick Room up at this point. Because if I get Trick Room up at this point and they don't Terrasilize Citar, Fighting Terra Blast 
into T Tark KO, and then we can body slam the uh, the Salamence as well. And really, I use my Kusat Berry on that. <laughs> on a protect, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I didn't think it would trigger. I didn't think it would trigger with a protect, but I guess it does. It's kind of stupid, but <laughs> it is what it is. So we're using our first turn priority berry to protect. Kind of funny. We'll end up terrestrializing our Ferrigis. Protect our Lax, and hopefully they double down into this slot. Let's see. Tailwind. Oh, baby. We got Trick Room. Your Tailwind does nothing. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. And Knockoff's going to fly. And we block it. So that's big. That is huge. That is huge. So what was the point of the, the Tailwind there? What's the point of the Tailwind? Nothing. Get it out and out of here. Trick Room. Just canceling it. We got Trick Room, baby. That's huge. That's huge. All right. So now we got Speed Cooking. Um, I don't think t is going to Terrastalize. I'd be very upset if it does. But I mean, from here, we could just rip a Terra Blast, hopefully KO you, and then just go Body Slam and KO you. Plus six Belly Drum, Body Slam. Yep, no Terra, beautiful. So Body Slam, later. Yo, I love the animation for it. Slux just like jumps on him. <laughs> he just jumps on him. Terra Blast gonna fly four times super effective. This sh should just absolutely rip, rip up in you. Usually any fighting move touches t -tar, it's gone, but... But... We don't KO. We don't KO. It's all good, though. It's all good, because we got Trick Room up. We got T-Tar low HP. And more importantly, we got Torkoal ready to roll. We got Torkoal ready to roll. I'm so surprised that fighting move didn't KO him there. Oh, man. That really hurt, because then I could have just, like, ripped up with my boy. But good thing that they do have Tailwind up, so I know that we should be able to outspeed. The Drought's now here. Um, we probably just want to go into Fighting Terra. Terra Blast into this slot. I mean, you could have Ghost, so I might just want to go Expanded Force, which I am going to do, because Eruption is going to finish off this, uh, this T-Tar all day. But instead of going into our Fighting Terra Blast, there is a chance they Terrasalize into Ghost. I'd rather just play it safe with Expanded Force and look to just KO. They're just going to withdraw you, so I, I don't care who you bring in here. You're getting slapped up on. Expanded Force Eruption. Max Calibur. Get it on out of here. And there's that terror type. There's that terror type. It's going to be ghost. It's going to be ghost. There's that terror type I was worried about. And it's fire. It's, it's fire. It's fire. It's not ghost. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Eruption's going to launch. Chuck up some nice damage. Thermal exchange going to pop. So they got thermal exchange. We still have trick room, which is great. Unless they're going to cancel out trick room, which there is a hot chance that they do that. Expanded Force honestly not doing that much damage, and they do that. Oh no. Not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. We gotta go for Trick Room again. <laughs> we gotta get Trick Room. So I'm gonna go Trick Room here. Um, I'm still gonna erupt because I feel like they have to either target my Torkoal down or my Furigraph. And there is a chance they target down my Furigraph. Oh man, this is actually gonna be close. It's actually gonna be real close. Considering they soak this. Glaive Rush gonna come out here, plus one attack. Torkoal survives. Hold up. Give him a chance. Terror Blast going to come out here. And I get to keep my Torkoal, which is great news. I get to keep my Torkoal. That's really good news. I get my Citrus Berry popping. And from here, what are we going to do? This is actually a really close match. Eruption's going to do negative six. I wish that would have KO'd the back caliber. That would have been big. Thermal Exchange is going to boost him. He could have Ice Shard. I don't know if he does. The Trick Room is here. So we put Trick Room back into effect. Um, and Tailwind is gone for them. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Let's do it more. They're both doing the same amount of damage. They're both doing the same amount of damage. P2's gonna be able to soak. We're gonna weather ball this bad boy down. Hopefully he doesn't have Ice Shard to KO me. He could protect back Excalibur too, especially after a Glaive Rush. We should have doubled down into P2. Man, that Trick Room cancel. Ice Shard's gonna fly here. I got Armor Tail anyway. Huge. So there's that. Weather Ball's gonna KO you. Hopefully he just goes after the Frigraph. Because in his head he's probably thinking Ice Shard's KOing. 
Let's see how, how much damage this is this doing. Expanded Force, you might be canceling out Trick Room again. Could definitely be canceling out Trick Room again. Expanded Force is not doing that much. He's gonna go for a recover. Not a recover. I don't think we can win this one. I think PT is just gonna outstall us. I really do. So how come Citar? Um to answer, I'm just gonna start buffeting away as well. Oh man. I'm gonna call a wish here. Actually, we can't, because then Titar could survive this. I think Titar might even protect here. I don't know if I should make that read, but we can now go into Rock Weather Ball. It's pretty good. Rock Weather Ball might save us. How much damage are you doing here, Torkoal? Hmm. Not enough. Terror Blast gonna launch. We get rid of Titar. Hold up, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance, and we call a wish next turn. Just give me a chance. Don't go after Torkoal. I kind of need Torkoal now. He's going to go after Torkoal. No, he's going to pop Trick Room. So Trick Room's going to cancel back out. Um, this will be last turn for our Torkoal, though. Because Buffett's going to rip up into it. You might even recover. Oh, my lord. Coming down to the wire. Yeah, this is our, our Torkoal's last turn. I'm going to call a Wish here for a for Graph. And if I can get off Weather Ball, I can't protect. Because if I protect, I just die out the Buffets regardless. And he's just going to go for a Terror Blast. Go into Frigraph? No, you're just going to finish off Torkoal. You don't want that standing here. So there's that. Um, all right. Let's see. That's one place. We're calling up a Wish. <laughs> We're calling up a Wish. <laughs> Sending a Wish up. Buffett's going to chip up. You're probably going to go for a Recover this turn, most likely. And I'm going to pop the Trick Room. Oh, dude, I don't think we can beat this. I don't think we can beat this PZ. I really don't. I really don't. Yep, there's the Recover. There's the Recover. So we'll set up the Trick Room. We'll get Speed Control back in our favor. They'll probably cancel that out. But we're waiting on the Wish. We're kind of waiting on the Wish here. Does it tell me how many turns are left in the, in the Wish? I think it's a three-turn kind of thing. I honestly forget. Oh, nope, there it is. Cool. Thank you, Wish. Thank you for doing that. And now we'll just start ripping Terror Blast. Honestly, I don't even know which one's going to do more damage. I think it's the same, but we're just going to see how much damage Terror Blast can do. Terror Blast launch, and I think they might even pop Trick Room here. We need a crit, pretty much. This could come down to the wire. Double Edge! Double Edge! It takes a mean recoil there. It takes a mean recoil. But if it's going to fly, I'm going to set up a wish here. We're totally setting up a wish. It's wish time. It's wish time all day. Honestly, but if you go for double edge, you got to go for recover here. We're predicting recover. We're predicting recover, so we're, we're going to drop a wish. Yep, okay, cool. So there goes wish. I kind of want them to use double edge more often. Recover, wish, blah, blah, blah. Sandstorm's gone. Um, we still have trick room, so... I mean, Expanded Force does the same amount of damage. They're both, they're both base 80. And they're both technically stabbed right now. So, honestly, it kind of looked like Terror Blast a little bit more. Double Edge going to launch here. We should get Wish. Which is going to be great. Recoil is going to pop here. There's our Wish. They probably want to go for Recover here again. But, dude, this is just... This is just not doing anything good for us. Terror Blast going to fly. They're probably going to Recover. Yeah, no, they're both doing little damage. And there's another double edge. Hold up. Can we win this one with the recoil? Nope, Trick Room's gone. Yeah, GG's. GG's. Good game. I knew it was going to be tough with the PZ. Not PZ, P2. Double edge, too, on P2. Really going crazy. Definitely came down to the wire, but again, GG's to our opponent. We go 2 1 for today's video. So guys, nice little 2-1 winning record with this Snorlax Trick Room team. I absolutely love it today. We got to use every part of this squad. Logan Torco combo, Indeedy Snorlax combo. We even got to rock out with Farigraph and even Scyther in match number two, picking up the final KO on the Dragapult. Like I said, this team was phenomenal all around. Every part of this team did some work today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace out, everybody.